Welcome, this is the Art of the Question. Now with the coronavirus going and everyone on lockdown, there are some things that we maybe want to be thinking about so that this whole crisis doesn't happen again, whether it's to our companies, whether it's to other organizations or to our family. How do we prevent something like this from happening again? Not the virus itself, but how do we prevent us being so negatively impacted? by everything that's going around us. One thing to do is a little exercise called if then what? And this is how it goes. When we create plans, when we, maybe it's a business plan, maybe a, a budget, or and that could be for home or for business. When we create processes or procedures in a business, when we create these plans, we often think, okay, well, if this breaks, then what happens? This is called exception handling and it actually isn't done very much, oddly enough. You would think that it would be done more, that if this doesn't work, well then what? But it is put in a lot of the plans to a real basic level, but we need to get a little bit deeper. And this if then what exercise helps us do that. For this exercise, you wanna grab a group of people. It could be your work team. It could be your family, for example. Grab the people together. The first thing you wanna do is cover the plan. Whatever you're focused on, Again, it could be a budget, it could be a process, it could be your customer service, it could be your family. And then explain to them that you're going to go through the if then what exercise, which is you're going to say, if this happened, then what would happen? What is the result? What is the impact after that? And I want you to spend the first part brainstorming the if piece, that, that first piece. If what happened, if there was a pandemic, if there was an earthquake, if truck drivers couldn't deliver your product anymore, if your vendor went out of business, if you lost your job, if your salary was cut back, all these different scenarios, what if? And then I want you to go through each of those scenarios and say, if this happened, then what would be the impact? How would we react to that? What, would, what position would that put us in? And then you start realizing, oh, any of these things can happen at any time. Some are more probable than others but any of them can, can happen at any time. And then how do we fix it? How do we make it so that we aren't impacted so harshly by it? And I think what you'll find is that the answer to one of them will be an answer to a lot of them. What happens is when you're asking these if then what questions is you're getting to the level three or level four level questions. For example, the first two binary and factual questions. If you just ask it in a regular course of business, say, all right, what's gonna happen if our servers go down? Well then we fix it this way. Okay, that's on, the, that's on the factual level. But what we wanna do is get deeper. We wanna to go to the level three or level four questions. We wanna to get to the explanatory and even the introspective because that engages our brain a little bit more and we come up with better scenarios, better outcomes, better solutions overall. We don't wanna take this on a very surface level because we'll only hit, again, the first two levels. We want to get to the second or the third and fourth level questions and answers. So the if then what helps you dive in and see these things happen way before time. Now you're probably online with a lot of people. You're probably conducting meetings if you're in a business setting or maybe you're stuck at home and you can do this with your family. But go through this exercise with your team or with your family and Figure out if this happened, then what would happen, and then how do we fix it? And that is the if then what exercise. I hope you guys can use that and prepare yourself for next time so that you're not impacted as much as you may be today, but maybe next time it may be better or you're catching something else that will happen in the future.